Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. My name is Richard Evans and today I'm going to show you how to link switcher rows using color groups. This allows you to basically automate your show without having to go through and mess around with macros. You can just assign different switcher rows to program other switcher rows using color groups. Let's dive in and take a look. All right, so here we are in the TriCaster TC1 interface, and before we get started, just to let you know, this video that's up in the top right corner, that's going to be assigned to my program output, and then the window below me, which is normally my preview window, I have assigned to my Mix Effect 2 output, hence the lower thirds that I have here. So, okay, now linking your switchers uh, allows you to have control over one of your switchers that then controls another one. So let me show you how that works. So uh, right now on my program row here, I have mix effect number one selected, which is me on my virtual set. And then if I open up my mix effect number two, you'll see that I have input number two selected. So that's why they have uh, different shots here. So if I want, what I can do is link these two together so that they're doing the exact same thing whenever I'm switching my show, which would be good for, say, like uh, having different lower thirds or picture-in-picture -picture type scenarios or scoreboards, just depending. It really, there's no wrong way to switch your show. These are just additional tools to use, but here you go. Uh, so on my program row here, uh, let me click on this triangle that's right next to where it says PGM. And when I drop that down, you'll see that I have different options of uh, selecting a color group uh, to assign this to. So I'm going to select green for that color. And on my mix effects 2, on my A layer, I'm going to click that same triangle and select that color. And as soon as I do that, boom, uh, automatically now my mix effect number 2 is assigned to my mix effect number 1 on this row. So if I go through on my program row and start to switch different uh, sources, you'll see that that corresponds to that switcher row up at the top. So these two are linked together. Now, uh, not only can I do this with just the one uh, switcher bank, I can do it on multiple ones. So for example, if I go over here to mix effect number three, uh, I have this set up to where it's kind of the same thing, where I'm just like a, a, an additional switcher. And I can select that in the green row as well. And that will apply across the board uh, as well. So if I go back to mix effect number one here on this row, you see my program row changes. And if I go to mix effect number two, same thing. OK, so let's get rid of all of that. And the easiest way to do that is by clicking on any of these that are grouped to that same uh, color and select clear this group. Boom, that will unassign all of those. Now, what's cool about this is not only does this work with the, the top layer, but it also works with the bottom layer of your switchers as well. Uh, so, for example, I can use that same concept to be my preview row. So, if I go down here to preview, I'm going to select a different color this time. Let's select red. And on my mix effect number two, select red as well. And now those two are linked together. So, I can go over here and select back to my input two, and you'll see that those match back and forth. So not only uh, does it work with just uh, the original uh, row that you've assigned to that color, but it also works with the, any of the other ones assigned to that color. So if I go up to this mix effect uh, to layer A, you'll see that that changes my preview row as well. And that makes things a little bit easier if you want to simplify your production. So you can have your um, uh, program row be your typical program row, and then your preview actually be what you're doing on your mix effect or whatever other source you have. So as you can see, this is a really good way to simplify switching within the TriCaster. Now, if you like this demonstration but want a little bit more, make sure you go to newtech.com demo to sign up for a free personalized demonstrations of our TriCaster systems hosted by yours truly. Also, be sure to follow us and tag us on your Instagram posts. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page for videos like this and more at youtube.com slash newtechinc. And until then, Thank you for watching and be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.